not to do the moonwalk with grippy slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't work. That was a fail. Nicole here, coming at you with a brand new fancy video. The Kylie Bear behind the camera, seven of our easiest weight loss hacks. The friends, for those of you that are new, Kyle and I have both lost 130 pounds. That's like a whole person each. At the beginning of our journey, we discovered these seven hacks as we went along and these really helped us stay on track and lose weight. And we needed easy and we needed appealing and these really helped us. We're gonna show you the seven. They're super easy. You can start doing these right now. We're in the bathroom. <laughs> Tip number one is about water. When we first started, we didn't drink any water at all. We knew if we wanted to lose weight and get results pretty quickly, we were gonna have to include water and a lot of it. So to get us used to drinking water, we started putting bottles of water for each of us in the bathroom like this the night before so that when we woke up in the morning, the water was there and it said, you better drink me. <laughs> Even though cold water is really, really tasty, warm water is a lot easier to get down. So when we seen the water in the morning, we would start drinking it. As soon as we came into the bathroom to wash our face, we saw the water, started getting the water in. It made it very easy to start our day out right, hydrating ourselves and having the bottle of water in the bathroom took away all excuses to start drinking water. I needed that because in the beginning I was the excuse king. So any of these tricks that we did along the way helped me stay on track. Me too. And if you're not a fan of bottles of water, you could also do water jugs. We do do water jugs mostly now, but in the beginning, this was also a measuring tool for us. So if this was in the bathroom, we, this was what we needed to drink before we, you know, left for work or wherever in the morning. Once that was down, it was easier to get the next couple of bottles down because we were already rolling from the moment we woke up. Oh yes. Next tip, lay your workout clothes out the night before. In order to get our cardio done, we were not really motivated. I mean, we were motivated, but walking was really hard for us. But if we put our clothes out, that eliminated excuses. So instead of putting my clothes for workout in the mornings, I put workout clothes with socks, with running shoes, everything I needed, tank top, workout pants, sports bra, socks, shoes. These are the clothes that I put on. I don't get ready to go somewhere. I get my workout clothes on. There's no excuse because they're here and ready to go. If, if you're a person who wants to go to the gym, you can have your gym bag ready to go. We have cardio machines here, so there's the clothes. Get them on, and I'm gonna show you the second part to this tip. You mean these aren't your workout shoes? <laughs> I wish they were. <laughs> Along with having the workout clothes, having coffee made in a coffee maker that has a timer on it, we set it every night for the time that we wanna wake up in the morning so that the coffee is ready. All we have to do, pour ourselves a black cup of coffee, drink it with our workout clothes already on, we go down to where our cardio equipment is and do our cardio. Coffee does two things. It makes you really hot, so it works as a pre-workout, it gets you focused, gets you ready to go, and second, because it gets you hot, it's a thermogenic, it can help you burn more fat. And trust us, we've been doing this weight loss journey for seven years and all these minutes add up in your day. You wanna be saving all this time to keep you on track because the longer it goes, the more likely, you know, if you gotta prep your coffee, you're like, oh, it's getting late, I'm running late for work, I'll just skip the cardio. Exactly, but when, when that's done and your workout clothes are already on because they're the first things you see in the morning, you're already drinking your water, wearing your workout clothes, ready for your coffee. It's pretty much given that you're gonna go do the cardio now. Set yourself up for success. Yes. We bought multiple sets 
of measuring cups and measuring spoons and we bought a scale. This allowed us to do portion control. We did not want to track macros or count calories because numbers don't work for us. So we bought tons of measuring cups and spoons and this allowed us to bring them everywhere. I put them in my purse, my lunch bag, travel bags. We had some in the car. Everywhere we went, there was no excuse to not measure out our food because these are so easy to throw in a purse or a bag and the car in the glove box. Always having those, we could eat whatever we want and we would just portion them out with our measuring cups and spoons. We always get asked, where did you guys get these? Everywhere, literally we look, it, like when we need a bunch, we look at every store we go in to get the good measuring cups, like, you know, the scoopers. Winners, Walmart, dollar store, you name it, Marshalls. we've got them. Marshalls, HomeSense, anywhere you go, you should be able to find them. The scale, same thing. We got ours at Bed Bath & Beyond. This is the perfect portions food scale, but you can literally get food scales anywhere now. Next tip, we get asked often, did you guys go to restaurants? What do you do for dates? How do you do this portion control like that? So, yes, we did go on dates. Yes, we did go to restaurants. What did we do? Go to a restaurant? You can choose anything you want. What you do is, after you order your entree, you ask the waitress to bring you a takeout container with your meal. At the beginning of your meal. Yeah, when we were ordering the food, we would order what we wanted, say, okay, hi waitress, I'll have a burger and fries. Could you please bring a takeout container with my meal? Then, as soon as the waitress puts the meal and the takeout box on the counter, on the table, <laughs> cut it in half. So half the fries, half the burger. Put half in the takeout container, eat the other half. What you do with the takeout container, you can take it home, eat it another day, or you can share it with somebody. We found that most restaurants in today's society are giving you double and triple the portion. So splitting it right away allowed us to get, not only be economical, get another meal for each of us, but it also kept us on track with portions. We once went and got chicken fried rice on a date, and when we measured out our servings into the takeout container, we had enough for the meal at the restaurant and two more days worth of food after that. And that's the cool thing like we, we have and we have done, have brought the measuring cups and spoons to restaurants. However, if you forget them or you don't, you're embarrassed to bring your measuring cups. Cut it right in half. Just cut it in half. You know you're, you're getting closer to an actual proper portion. Yep, or just and, and just use your eyes, divide it in half. If it's rice, like I said, just divide it in half. The other thing we did, sometimes we would go to fast food restaurants. We wouldn't go to sit-in restaurants. We would go to a fast food place. We would order a lean burger, um, and we would get no cheese on it, and we would get loaded up with veggies. Then, in the car, we brought light Caesar salad with our light salad dressing measured in containers already, and baked potato. Those were like our favorite things to eat when we were losing weight because Caesar salad and baked potatoes are amazing. And we had margarine measured in two teaspoons worth in containers for each of us as well. So we would go in the car, we had a hot baked potato ready to go and a salad, and we would have a car dates where we would eat the burger from the fast food restaurant along with a potato and salad. It was, it's really cool memories for us. Like we still look back on that, you know, and we were able to eat what we loved, have dates and get fast food. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> okay, so I mentioned earlier that we never drank water. What I drank was pop. Seven cans of full sugar pop a day. Dr. Pepper was my thing. Seven cans of pop a day, probably a container of juice, and maybe a couple tablespoons of water. That was it, like a couple sips. So I wasn't ready to give up the pop, but we knew we needed to switch to a lower sugar version of something. So we switched to diet pop. In the beginning, we didn't cut down the amount of cans we were drinking, we cut down on the sugar. So we switched to diet pop. And there are so many amazing flavors of diet pop out there that actually you can't even taste that they're diet. We saw results just switching from regular to diet pop. And we get so many messages all the time from people that 
have just changed that alone, switching from regular to diet pop and have lost 10, someone said they lost over 20 pounds. And that is true. If your body's used to drinking that much in calories and sugar a day, when you switch to something that has no calories and no sugar, it is a huge difference. If you just quickly do the math, what's a normal pop, like 150, 160 calories times seven a day for you? Plus whatever amount of sugar was in the Dr. Pepper. It's insane. These are, there are seven hacks that we're giving you. Keep in mind, we made very small changes. Small changes give you big results. So if you're like looking at the seven, you're like, I can't do all that. One, take one of these hacks and do it and you will notice results. Just changing small things every day, if you're not used to it, your body will change. At night was our most difficult time because we were night eaters. We found, um, we discovered herbal teas that were flavored with really cool flavors. Like this one is called Indulgence and it's cookies and cream flavor. And it actually tastes like cookies and cream. We tried to find herbal versions so that we wouldn't be up all night, but that were flavored that we could drink at night together, kind of like a, like a nightcap date, but it was tea and it was good for us because it was herbal and it didn't keep us up at night. See, we were ritual nighttime eaters, so we couldn't just get rid of those habits. We had to start new new, new traditions, new new rituals. So, so tea, and then also sugar-free flavored gum became something that really helped me when I was hungry or had a craving because there are so many cool flavors of gum, it felt like I was having a dessert. So chew a piece of gum, drink some tea at night, those really helped us. Also, to along with these at night during the day to help us really like our food when we were choosing lower sugar, lower sodium options of things, we discovered these sugar-free syrups, sugar-free powdered sugar, powdered peanut, whoops, powdered peanut butter, unsweetened cocoa powder, and stevia sweetened chocolate chips. We also really love these skinny syrups. We find them at Marshalls and Winners. Um, they come in all kinds of cool flavors, like this one's Christmas cookies. It was a holiday version. We use these to flavor our oatmeal, our yogurt, because we always buy the plain fat-free version, our cottage cheese, anything that's plain that needs a bit of flavoring, we put those things in and it makes it so much tastier, really makes us want to eat it, and that helps keep us on track. All right, the last. Save the best for last. Okay, having pre-portioned meals and snacks ready to go in the fridge, in the cupboard, labeled. We realized if we want to do this every day, when we get hungry, we can't just decide what we want to eat. We needed to have meals already cooked and ready to go in the fridge and snacks that were really tasty and appealing and ready to go. And a little planning like this literally saved both of our lives. We would come home from work, very hungry. Our portion meals were already in the fridge. All we had to do was put them in the microwave. Hungry at night, want a snack? You, we had snacks, we ate at night, but we ate portions. So we would portion out snacks. So this is a fat-free popcorn and a quarter cup of nuts. We loved salted nuts and we didn't take that the sodium away because we picked our battles. So also, we would label them and we would put the day. Tricks with that is if I eat all of mine and I want more, but the only one left has Kyle's name on it, I'm not eating my husband's food. That's not nice. Yeah, because for us, like, back in the day we really didn't have real high self-esteem personally so i would go through all the nuts eat the whole container but all of our own portion right but if it had nicole's name on it and a date i was way 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 less likely to touch that and as you can see the date nicole monday which is a hot chocolate a light hot chocolate and a granola bar and a friday they're different snacks to keep it interesting and to keep you, you know, on track and looking forward to it. But also, if I ate 
my Monday snack and I go through to another portion because that could, that did happen where we would eat all of our portions. If I had Friday on it, if I ate my Friday, I would have no Friday snack. So having the, the day of the week on it seemed to really help us eat that day's portion and that was it. It is, it might sound kind of silly and it is kind of a, but it is a useful mental trick. Uh, words have power, writing it down has power, talking it out with your partner has power. And you know, oops, <laughs> dropping food. And if you don't have a partner, if you live alone, this still works. You label it with every day of the week, you can still put your name on it. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the whole mental game, like Kyle said. So I just want to show you a few more things here. Carrots and dip, already measured to go. This is light ranch dressing. We've got some yogurt with a couple teaspoons of sugar-free chocolate chips and a couple teaspoons of nuts for a snack with berries. And we have some low-carb spaghetti with some lean ground beef. And my lunch is already ready to go in the fridge for the next day. We've got snacks, we've got lunches and dinners and breakfasts. It's all done. I can't fail now because it's all there. If Even if I don't wanna do it, it's already made. I may as well just eat my portion. A little bit of planning can make it so easy on yourself. So, the friends, those are the seven easiest weight loss hacks that helped Kyle and I lose 130 pounds each. We ate what we liked, we portioned it out, and we set ourselves up for success. So, hope you guys really enjoyed this video. We know what it's like to struggle, and these really helped. So that's why we wanted to make this video for you. Check us out on Instagram, at the Colette, for more great, fantastic stuff. And hello, if you wanna be cool, <laughs> and you wanna fight through it, Check out the link below to get a very cool fight through a gear. <laughs> I got really excited there. <laughs> and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss the videos because you might cry if you do. We don't want you crying. No. Okay, so thank you so much for watching from the bottom of our heart. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out, guys. Until next time. Colette, out! Uh oh, she's gone. <laughs> I'm a <frog>. Oh my god. <laughs> it's definitely meds time. <laughs> Bye guys. See ya. <laughs> Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. <laughs>